Hello and welcome back to It's Just My Opinion, my weekly review show where I go through your requests. All right, that's enough of that crap. As you can see, I've stopped the slideshow format for It's Just My Opinion. I'm just lazy as hell and this is a lot easier to edit. Also, my heart really wasn't into it doing it just as a slideshow. So, here's a new format. Hope you enjoy it. If not, eh, watch the other one. First album I'm going to talk about today, everybody actually wants to know my real opinion on this. So, here is Every Time I Die's x -Live. Why I really I tried five separate times to write a full-on review for this, and the reason why it was my April Fool's video is because when it comes down to it, no matter how many times I listened to X Lives, I just could not find anything that I actually wanted to listen to more than once. It's nothing against the band itself. I can't bring myself to say this album sucks. It doesn't. I can only say that it's just not for me. The guitars, the drummer, hell, even the vocalist, who honestly I've had problems with in the past, are not bad. It's just the songs are all jumbled together, and I'm sure it makes sense in the grand scheme of things if you take a step back, but honestly, that's what I hate about it. I don't like being told why I should like something after I've already listened to it and don't like it. I don't like having to go back and look for things to enjoy several times over. I like listening to things that I would want to listen to on a regular basis. And I have a few Every Time I Die albums. I have Gutter Phenomenon, and I love it. It's just, I feel like this is too big of a departure from it. I think that's always been my problem with math metal and complex hardcore technical stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, I like a lot of technical stuff. I love Cynic, Periphery, Between the Buried and Me textures. I like all those things. So I'm not just biased against it because it's more intellectual than a 4-4 time signature. Verse, chorus, ver bridge, verse, chorus, bridge. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, it doesn't appeal to me as a casual fan. I think that's where this album fl is flawed. It's not exactly good for casual fans. Passerbys will hate this, but regular Every Time I Die fans, they'll love it. There's no doubt about that. If you've loved Every Time I Die before, you will like this. I just was never a huge fan, and now I'm not a fan of this album. But the real question is, why do I find this album unlistenable? But I love Coloss. I've never been a huge Meshuggah fan. I mean, I have Absin, but honestly, at this point, who doesn't? But it seems kind of strange that all the technical aspects that make X Live something that I don't like make Coloss one of the best albums I've heard all year. Coloss is just plain enjoyable. That's really all it goes down to. The riffs are great, the drumming is downright awesome, and the thing that makes it really superior of an album is that it leads to something. All the songs build up to one certain point which is something I can't say about Every Time I Die, where it seems like all the songs are just slapped together. It makes the Coloss a lot more interesting to listen to. You're actually interested to see where all the songs are going, rather than just having them piled together. I feel like you can drop yourself in the middle of a song on the new Meshuggah album and still find yourself really enjoying it. But Every Time I Die, you feel like you're missing something. And you might totally disagree with me on this, but this is where I stand. Meshuggah was just all in all a better experience for me. You can disagree with me if you want. Pick the right Tylenol for your specific headache. Now for the first time on my show, I'm actually going to review an album personally sent to me by members of the band in question. This week's gluttons for punishment are Black Hate, who are based out of Mexico and are on Dusk Tone Records. And while I do appreciate free music in a crappy economy, I will not sugarcoat anything. If it sucks, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to be perfectly honest with everything that's sent to me. right off the bat. Uh, first of all, the production's not that great, and I've been listening to Long Island Hardcore my entire life, so honestly, that's not really a strong degrading factor for me. Uh, the vocalist is hit or miss, and sometimes the background noise doesn't exactly match with the foreground, but honestly, it's not bad. I'm still not really into black metal, I think mostly because I don't know a good starting point if you want to jump right into the genre. 
If anybody can help me with that, please give me some suggestions as to where to start. But all in all, it's really good. I really like the piano interludes on a lot of the songs. I think the songs are generally pretty creepy, which I'm not sure if you're supposed to be looking for that with this type of music, but that's what I look for. And there is a definite atmosphere to the songs, and it really does carry through. I think everything, despite the production value, is still solid, which is pretty impressive. I originally wanted to start this show as a way of getting lesser-known music out there in general, so I'm really glad the first one that was sent to me is actually one that I enjoy and would listen to on a regular basis. So please, check it out. All right, BG, I listened to the album and I gave you the review. Now stop emailing me. Leave a comment below, let me know what you want to hear me review next, and if you disagree with me on anything, which I'm sure you do after this week, just remember that it's just my opinion. By the way, I also like the damn things, just in case my credibility wasn't already shattered.